and we're live. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's match day commentary between uh, Warrington Islands and Fackley AFC for uh, the first qualifying round of the FA Cup. Um, a beautiful day here at the Hive Arena. Fingers crossed, it'll be a beautiful result as well. So let's see how things get going. So we'll see how today gets on. It's just me today um, for commentating wise, Frank James. Unfortunately, not joining with anyone else, but if you are interested in joining us for commentary uh, in the near future at home, then do. Uh, drop us a message and we'll definitely get back in touch and look about getting you joining for commentary but referee's going to blow his whistle and we're going to kick things off here Ben Hoff going to bring one back over towards Dylan Dwyer so I think could easily get a shot off there all with this one in let's see what he does he's going to go for the shot it's a decent effort goes straight to Morsley Pillen back now towards Matt Regan in defence Regan Fingerall going forward, he's brilliant, picked out there towards Jay Burton in the centre of the pitch, he launches one down the right hand side, it's a heavy pass, able to be found towards Clarksmith, Clarksmith crosses this one in, surely from Hassan Kishi, header goes behind, but good start there from Ireland, he's just going to lead this one back towards his defender, and um, Rhodes might take the same option, but in fact he's dispossessed by Sam Burns, and surely another free kick, Luke Rhodes being the culprit of that one, should and the uh, referee's going to have to have a word with Luke Rhodes. That's three different occasions now where the number two has been the culprit. He is going to get a yellow card for that. 5 4 now on to the left hand side for Fackley. Matt Regan trying to get on the end of it. In sack. It's going to be James Neal who does. Only to go as far as Finn Donovan, though he's up against Clive Smith. Donovan crossed this one in, headed uh, away from Matt Regan. It was a diving effort from the, uh, number five. And here's Sam Burns looking to launch a counter attack opportunity. And that's a blatant foul there. Violence fans aren't happy with that. Stop the counter attack opportunity for Sam Burns. I think, is it? In fact, it is Luke Rhodes. He's already on the yellow card. And the referee's not going to give it. Ball's over top now for Matt Regan, looking to get towards the Ryan's player, doesn't find any, so going to go straight back towards Luke Wilson, exactly where Fackley wants it. As we hit the half-time mark, Fackley able to hold Ryan so far, 0-0. Uh, controversial decisions given so far, as Fackley could have gone down to 10 men, however, it still remains uh, level here at the Hive Arena. James Neod and finds Clash make the launch it forward. Ben Arcastle is onside, there could be a crossing opportunity. For Ben Arcastle, he gets closer to the 18 yard box, he enters it, cross comes in, surely. Okay. Jake Burton isn't able to get on that, but it's still going to fall to Ben Hoff. Cross comes in from Dylan Dwyer, in fact, it was a shot, it's going to go straight over. But good defending there, though, from Fackley to stop that cross that went straight across the six yard box. Is this Fackley corner to be taken? Corner comes short now, it's going to go across the floor, ready a routine. And uh, a brilliant save there from Luke Burns to deny that one, but first chance, and still a chance now for. Fackley's will get cleared away from Matt Regan, but a lovely training routine, corner kick there taken, and um, saw the first shot on target. Amaro finds Jake Burton. Burton able to flick this on perfectly over towards the Porter. Porter finds the ball forward towards Dylan Dwyer. Surely Dwyer! Goal! Violent scores! Violent's one all up here against Fackley, thanks to a brilliant ball from Jake Burton finding Dylan Dwyer, who's able to fire a straight pass. Luke Wilson and Ryland to one nil up. He's going to find Luke Porter. Porter's been brilliant so far. Plays the ball forward towards Cameron Rooney. Rooney now on the left hand side. Good cross up. He finds Ben Arcastle. Straight over the bar, but should be a corner. Ben Arcastle's demanding the referee to give a corner there. I was convinced it was too. It took it was good defending there from a Fackley defender. Red card there for a Fackley player. Um, for a bit of dissent there with the referee. To Mark Evernay, we've got him um, sent off. So Fackley down to the 10 men, 1 0 down here. Ball on the right hand side now, his play is quickly resumed. Here's Ben Arcastle on the outside of his boot, finds Cameron Rooney. Rooney looking to get a cross in, it's a low cross over towards Ben Arcastle, perfect ball, shot saved. Cameron Rooney still plays it back towards, shot taken and goal! It's Luke Porter! Ryland's 2 0 up here! Brilliant pass out from Cameron Rooney, finds Luke Porter, and Ryland's a 2 0 up. 
ball down the right hand side now flicked on by Cameron Rooney over towards Ben Harcastle now with no offside given again to number 12 Harcastle on his left foot Harcastle leaves it for Rooney shots taken just over the bar Rooney did he deserves a goal and he almost got it just over the bar ball over towards Dan Romano headed forward towards Jake Benning from Ryland's get themselves a fair Jake Burton shots taken and it's a fair it's Jake Burton getting another goal for Ryland's Fackley falling to pieces in the last few minutes of the game. Golden Ireland scored by number 11, Jake Burton. Well, they're leading the space of 5-10 uh, minutes. So another situation is similar to Morton where Ryland's just able to capitalise on the poor defending. And here might be another chance now for Cameron Rooney. Playing the ball forward towards Jake Burton now. Burton with the pass opportunity shots to be taken. There's another goal, it's Jake Burton. Scoring now, it's 4-0 to Ryland's. We'll stop them getting another one. And the full time whistle's going to be blown here. Ryland's winning 4 0, thanks to four very late goals uh, from the Blues. The substitution's been absolutely amazing. I've been picked from Mark Duffy, and Ryland's are able to cruise onto the next round of the FA Cup. Thank you guys so much for listening to today's match day commentary. We'll be back this Saturday against Workington, and have a lovely rest of your afternoon.